Hey everyone, uh, welcome back here to the um, medieval stuff where things are going. Uh, right, no, let's not do a gag there. Too late. Right, okay, yeah, that wasn't even funny, so don't do it again. Okay, so where were we? Well, we've got we've got bedrooms. Yep, we got some storage stuff. Yep, we got some stuff happening. Yep, what's this? Research table, what's this? Butchering table. What's this? Campfire. Yeah. So we got a campfire and a butchering table and a research table and shrines. Yeah. And a uh, defense tower with merlons. Yeah. And a murder hole. Yeah. Okay. Great. You've got all that. Now, now what, what to do? Well, what, what we really need is a uh, a cellar where we can uh, stick our food right so it doesn't spoil right now uh what i i was thinking of doing it what's limestone huh it what i was thinking of doing is i would i would dig down whoops below the uh the kitchen here uh and I yeah, put stairs here and then we can go down a couple levels and we can put a cold room down there that that was my my thought so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with this oh right yeah I'm gonna need to also um yeah okay yeah we'll go down that way we're gonna need a floor out here because we're gonna have to uh go down uh have headroom here as well uh so uh while i'm uh, at it i'm just going to put a floor over uh those two bits there uh you know we can't avoid that just yet uh no we uh we can't do that um right No, that's going to need to be open. Yeah. Okay, no, we're going to have to extend the uh, the room. Okay, yeah, we'll do that then. Uh, right, so we go out here, out here, out here. Yeah. Whoops, no. Do this. right and we're gonna need to also do that yeah okay now what are we gonna do we are also gonna put a roof on that we yeah okay and we need lumber yeah so we need to cut some trees down right well we can oh we got a tree is, is scheduled for cutting down uh let's uh, cut a couple more down Let's cut those down and those. Okay. Right. Now let's up the tempo so some stuff happens a little bit faster. Right. Oh, right. Well, yeah, I guess that is going to need to be cut, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll have room for uh, more stuff in the uh, kitchen there. Um, yeah, because we'll have a hearth here. Yeah, now you know the the roomier kitchen with the stairs going down. That's probably fine. Yeah. Uh, now there's something I want to do. I want to go in here and make sure that our uh, people are only eating uh prepared food yeah uh this is because if we do that uh we'll get let we won't get the eight raw food debuff right um yeah because they'll they'll just go and eat the raw food even when there's uh, no particularly good reason to do that uh okay tailoring has uh, come up here so um I'm going to grab tailoring uh, and that's so we can 
you know, start making uh, some stuff uh, for the uh, winter, right? I am, however, going to pause that so that we can get some other stuff done a little bit faster. Right. Now we got way too many crops going on here. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's a thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm pondering, uh, just putting the prepared, uh, uh stuff. Uh, well, you know what I can do? I can, uh, yeah, I can take, uh, this wall out here. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Does that give us enough to actually finish the uh, construction? That's... Uh, no. Um, well, that's fine. It doesn't need to. Okay. Um, where are we at here? So, we're a little bit short on food hey you're a you're a deer we can hunt you uh okay oh yes and of course everybody has to go to sleep at night uh, i do kind of like how in the the uh spring and summer uh, you know it's light all night you know <laughs> it's kind of weird uh right okay uh, we got uh, Gewis or Jewis, Jewis or whatever. He's uh, missing his uh, his target. Uh, well, he killed his target. Well, there there we go. Well, we have a uh, we have a deer carcass. Yeah. Uh, question is, will somebody actually? Yep. Somebody's going to go ahead and uh, butcher it. Yep. And then we're going to get uh, a bunch more meat that we can cook. Yep. There we go. So we got more meat we can cook. Yep. Um, now what do we got? We've got sticks out the wazoo. So what if we go in here and we edit this and we tell it to use sticks for fuel? Yeah, that seems like it might not be a bad option, you know. Tell it to use the sticks, right? Because we're not using them for anything. And that's a that's a thing that uh, you know if you're playing the game you might want to do right uh, is uh, set up the uh, the stuff there for the uh, um, the stuff that uh, generates heat that burns things set it to use sticks uh, that can uh, that can go a long way to uh, uh, dealing with your oversupply of sticks, right? Uh, what are, are you? Not enough resources. Yeah. Well, yeah, there isn't. Okay, right. That's fine. And now we're digging a hole instead of finishing the construction. Well, that's an interesting strategy for digging a hole. That's an even more interesting strategy for digging a hole. And we have cut a plant down. Uh, right, we have built a wall. Okay. Now we need to just build the uh, roof. Oh, we're building the roof now. There we go. Now we have a spare room. Yeah. Uh, in that spare room, we're going to need some stairs. Uh, I'm going to just grab a wooden staircase plop it in right there yeah and we're going to uh, obviously need to uh, excavate further here but we got to do that strategically so that we can actually reach the stuff that we're digging right okay we can get down there Oh, no, we might be able to put... No, we can put a roof over that. No. Uh, now, now we're going to do that one. Uh, 
Oh yeah, it's nighttime. Right. Yeah, so our uh, our plan here is to get some sort of a uh, cellar operation going here. And we only need to go down one level here to uh, get underground. And then uh, we should be able to uh, to do a fair bit of uh, stuff here uh, where we can, you know, get things done. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of the point of things, isn't it? Uh, right. And we need... Right, and then we're going to need to dig this one. Okay, settlers are idle. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then we can go ahead and drop a uh, wooden stair in there. Yep. And then we've got our staircase going down into the cellar. There we go. Yeah. So now let's get down a level here. Uh, right. No, here. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we, we got to go here for a door, yeah, and then here can be the uh, cellar. And we can make it five wide. So we'll make it about that big, and we're going to put a couple offshoot rooms, like that. And those are going to be basically chillers. And it'll take a moment to dig all of this out. Uh, we're going to need a door here. Yeah. Now, this is 8 degrees inside. 7 degrees inside. As we dig more of that out, that temperature should go down. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now it's cold inside. Uh, we're going to need a floor. And in this version, uh, the floor is going to uh, heat up the room, uh, which it shouldn't. You know, there's some, some issue with the, the way they've designed or implemented the uh, heat mechanics. But, uh, you know, that it, it, is a, uh, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so now we've got a freezer here, basically. Uh, so it just they just need to dig the rest of this out. I'll put a floor in there and we'll put the food storage down here. Now, I'm debating whether I put just the prepared food down here or the raw ingredients also, or have a separate one of these for the raw ingredients. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe a separate one of them for the raw ingredients might be might be the thing to do. Now, something we also need uh, is uh, some sort of uh, um, entertainment. So we'll put a backgammon table in the kitchen. Uh, now, doing that, I believe, will make a uh, kitchen not a kitchen anymore uh, when we actually do trigger it being an actual kitchen. But that's fine because we don't have the uh, hearth yet, so uh, we, we aren't making a kitchen out of it anyway. But it'll give them some entertainment, and that's uh, that's what we're going for here. There we go. We have a uh, backgammon table. Now let's uh, let's go down here and see how our uh, excavators are doing. Yep, we are uh, a large part of the way done with this. So there's that. Something I'm going to do here 
is uh, put support beams in. Now, these are not strictly necessary, but it does mean that we're less likely to cave in if something goes pear-shaped. Uh, uh, you know, like if we excavate the wrong bit of wall or something like that, uh, then we can avoid going pear-shaped. And that's kind of the goal there. Yeah. Okay. And... Okay. So that's going to get us where we can put one of these in. Uh, put a beam there. And now, uh, what this means is if I build on top of this, the stability of the stuff above is higher. Uh, because the beam uh, picks up the stability of its uh, attachment points, I, I believe. So this beam has stability 4. Uh, which means the, the ground above it has stability 4. But the ground beside that has stability 3. Before that, the ground in the middle would have had like stability 1. Uh, which would make things a little bit more uh, difficult for building on top of things. Uh, so if we put this beam in here... Yeah. Uh, so we've got here, close that, we've got stability 4, which is this is where the beam is. we got stability th 3, and then 4, and then 3, and then 4, right? Now I could put extra beams in, and it'll give us stability 4 on the whole ground. But that's not really necessary. No, we got to go up here. And you can see here, we've got stability 4 here, right? And this is our stability 4. This is our the corner of our chiller. And this is the middle of our chiller, right? Stability 2. Uh, and that is uh, that is why I put the beams in. Uh, okay, so we got a 5x5 five five here. It's minus 2. We're going to put a uh, floor in here, and we're going to use, uh, okay, so a wood floor uh, gives us travel speed 100%, 95% uh, for wicker, 95% for limestone. Do we have lime, enough limestone? Uh, uh, we do. But I'm going to use the wicker, which uses sticks. So I'm going to put a floor here. Yeah. Okay. So when the floor goes in, that will prevent stuff from uh, rotting because it's on a uh, dirt floor. And then, uh, then that will uh, that will mean we can uh, create our uh, food stockpile in there, right? Settlers are idle. Um, yeah, well. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just uh, go in and put our uh, stockpile in here. And we'll go in here, we'll clear all, and we'll just allow all foodstuffs in here. Uh, and then we'll go up here, and we'll go in here, and we'll disallow food here. Right? Now our guy should scurry around and uh, move a bunch of uh, food stuff into here. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got uh, 26. Uh, is it? Uh, no, we have 18. We have 49 pre prepared meals here. So, yeah. Right. Okay, so now there's something else that we really should start doing, and that's building uh, some defenses, right? Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by building a uh, sort of moat around everything. Uh, I'm going to start over here. So I'm going to mine a uh, 
single wide trench, uh, some distance like that. Why a moat? Well, uh, then if uh, enemy uh, uh, siege weapons come in, you know, trebuchets, they can't damage it, right? Uh, and it keeps them out. So even if they damage the rest of the base, the moat keeps them out, right? Now, there is kind of a gimmick you can do. You could put uh, like a pyre outside the uh, moat and then they'll, they'll mill around there and you can station archers and pick them off. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have... Um, actually, I'm not going to mine there. I'm going to leave a entry hole there and then have more moat there okay so we have that now there's one more thing whoops i hit the uh q and e buttons there right uh i need a uh i need one of these which uh i'm just gonna shove right in here for now right that needs that needs wood we don't have any wood ah uh, we don't have any wood well let's get some okay now we'll get some right Now, I'm also going to make another stockpile, uh, and that's going to be uh, over here. Yeah, and this one, we're going to store uh, the uh, stuff that doesn't care about weather. You know, clay bricks, limestone bricks, limestone, iron gold right right and we can probably also stick hay there if we're growing it but uh are we growing it i don't think we are uh okay well we'll do that yep and then we'll go in here and we'll go in here and we'll turn off clay brick, limestone brick, clay, limestone, silver, gold, iron. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's turn off item indicators as well. Uh, okay. Now that should get them relocating stuff out of, what's this? Iron out of here and then we'll that covered storage uh, can be for stuff that uh, cares about having a roof right and then all the clay that we're getting from digging our moat will have somewhere to go and limestone and other stuff right um yeah. Okay. So this will uh, do its thing here. And uh, I guess um, we're going to want this to come around like so. Ultimately. Yeah. So we'll build a moat there, and I think I'll do a wall uh, further back now. Up to there. Uh, up to there. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be our uh, open moat. And then I'll put walls around the uh, rest of the compound, I think. 
Yeah, so this gives the, the archers a, f a field of fire, and uh, ultimately I'll probably want an archer tower. Uh, probably want to raise the archers one more level, you know, like raise the tower higher, but I'm not going to right this moment. No, we need to get uh, get a whole bunch of other stuff going first here. Yeah. You know what? I am going to put the hay out here. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to... Oh, we are growing it, so yeah. Uh, so if we put it out here, it'll rot faster. Uh, you know, why do I want the hay to rot faster? Well, just because. Uh, I want to have a decent supply of it, but I also don't want it hanging around forever. So we'll let it rot in the... How's this? Uh, it had four, 41 days. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Now, um, this here has uh, completed. Uh, so... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make winter clothes. No. We're going to make winter clothes. Uh, we're going to go until we have two. Why are we going until we have two? Uh, mostly because, well, uh, okay. And then we're going to do caps. And we're going to, no. And we're going to uh, also, until we have two. Uh, yep. Okay. No, let's just make it three for each. And then this one will also do until we have three. Yep. I guess we can bring that one up here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll make some hats. Right. Okay. Well, uh, where are we at here? Uh, we're coming up on half an hour here. So I think we've probably done enough for this, uh, this episode. Uh, we've got uh, some of our uh, stuff here. Uh, what's this? Clay pile. Am I allowing clay? I'm not allowing clay here. And here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's get the clay out of this uh, covered area as well. Yeah, that will uh, free up a couple more slots in there, right? Okay. So I'm going to uh, call it apart here. Uh, we've got the uh, next step in our defenses underway. We've got a cold room. Let's just check in on the cold room while while we're here. It's my, it's 1.5 in there, and it's uh, summer. Uh, so uh, it's enough that uh, this stuff here not decaying, right? And that's the whole point of that, right? So uh, that's going to be it for this part. Um I don't know what we'll be doing next time, but uh, uh, we'll be doing it. And uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, or maybe if you prefer dislike and, uh, uh, you know, um, also, you know, you might hit the bell, uh, you know, might get a notification or something. Yeah, I know uh, that that'd be uh, radical, wouldn't it? Yeah. And uh, then I guess uh, also uh, see you back next time.